Good morning everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. I thought I would show you a book I've just finished. It's a fabric book and it made with that brochure method that I have published before. So if you want to see how that's done, you actually fold a big piece of fabric into eight pieces and um, it makes a lovely book. But of course you don't have as many pages as in some books. So this is the one I've just made and it's of course French Parisian and I did some hand stitching on it. The spine is, has my favorite red ticking and there's a bunch of stitching there that's visible which I like running stitch. On this top part I made a little sort of a dangle with a, a little cross that I gilded a little bit. So I'll open it up. It has, as I said, just a bunch, a small bunch of pages, like eight pages, but it has quite a lot of inserts, so there's a lot to it. First of all, here's a belly band I made and then put in a bunch of tags. Different tags made of fabric, some made of fabric and some made of paper, and then also there's a advertisement from an old French page there for Provence. So basically the theme I would say is provincial. Here's another pocket, or the first pocket, and inside you'll find a lot of items. There are tags, there are there's French paper, there are notes, all sorts of things in there. So that's basically, actually, it's a double pocket, that one. And then, of course, down the side, I've ruffled up some lace. So this side, this is the center of it. So you see there are not many pages. So this is the center. Here's a pocket with some twile. And here's a rooster that's one of the symbols of France and some other things in there and then a little tag tied on there with a, a pin. So I'll take that out. So as I said, this is the center. So here you can see another pocket with some French lace. I tried to keep everything pretty much accurate there. And at the bottom there's some stamping. And inside here there's some tags with French labels and so forth on those. So that goes in that pocket. Fix that later. And then when you turn it over, here's the clip that clips this on. And I've taken this out for a minute because I'll show you how that looks. So this has, oh no, this, this is, this I can take out. This one is a postcard clipped on. I had some leftover fabric, so I put them together with some stitchery and some lace and some labels and just just some things really that were sitting on my table. And then I put them onto a postcard back like that. So that clips on there at the moment. And here's another pocket on the back. This is a pocket that goes this way on an angle. And inside there's something I picked up in France for a restaurant, I think, and uh, a French label page with some stamps on it. So that goes in there. Then there are some enclosures. So the first enclosure I'd like to show you, oh, I'll show you the back first. So this is the back of it, and this flips up just a little bit so you can pop something under there. And the side has ruffled tulle or netting, it really is, down the side there. I like something on the edges if I can put it, put them. Now here's the first enclosure. So this is a fold out made of some nice heavy paper. And there's a picture here of Paris. It's on a postcard. So I've folded the postcard in half and put half of it in this side and half in this side. So it folds like that. And then there's some stamps and some words here. And, and of course you can put things under there 
which I haven't done just yet. And when you open it up, there are two pockets with French fabrics on them and some photos and enclosures. Here's a handmade, well, of course, everything is handmade label. And here is a little booklet with Marie Antoinette's picture. And inside you can just add some notations. And that's the other side of that. So that's just easy. That's just a little paper folder. But this one is actually a fabric book. And what I did was I made a piece of fabric like that. A collage, I should say, of fabric and paper. And there's some stamps. This is paper, this is fabric. And I just made a collage, and that would be the front of it and the back. And I did some slow stitching, they call it, but just stitchery, just to enhance it. And then inside, all the papers in here are pretty much blanks, or they're, if they're not blank for journaling, they are French papers. This is the center, and I did hand tie it. So this is just the little book that goes inside. And in the front is a little pocket with a tag, and that's for adding all kinds of memorabilia. And then the back looks like that. And I tried to use French fabrics. These are from the French General, these ones. They're just lovely. So these go inside here. So even though it only has two four, six, eight pages. There's a lot of content here. And you will find this for sale in my shop with all the editions. And there it is. So it's nice and fat. I love fat things. And then you can stand it up to look at it when you, you know, you want to display it. I think it looks very pretty if you stand it up like that. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone's well today. This is Lilla in Hawaii. Goodbye now.